All right, so it's how idiotic it would be to do a 10-hour remake. And, I, I mean, we, we said mine last time, but also, I feel like we made an argument for why mine was a good idea. Well, I think it'd be idiotic to have to have Songheim rewrite, like, write a bunch of new music <laughs> just to fit in. Or, or, right. or if, if you're not even doing that, you're, like, fucking, you're, like, writing... You're just having the same songs over and over again. <laughs> Attend the tale but, but of they Sweeney just, they Todd. Just prolong, they just continue attending the, song, the tale of Sweeney Todd. But there's Todd. a bunch of different shots. <laughs> Attend the tale for hour two. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> and wouldn't you know it, we're going to boo. Yeah, you're really because solid it's, that. Because it's how bad it is, yeah, so we yeah. boo. Solid, solid rhyme. Never mind, I'm number one. Okay, I think, I think mine's number two for sure. Three again. Kyle, you love being third. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going? Oh, night time. We got night wow. Places? All right, All Jacob, right. where are you going? I'm going to go to the bathrooms this time. I was curious what was going on there last time. Oh, yeah, you have another little buddy on the show. Oh, cool, and he's got a comb. Oh, you got cute little guys. That day, you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. Yeah, put your foot down, Jacob. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn. By skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms. You give plus zero <laughs> shits, but gain plus two boldness. You look up to find Liam and Scott waving their phones in each other's faces. Oh, this is just a lot of Jacob oh, voice yeah. today. <laughs> what about this one? Nah, I definitely swipe left on that one, bro. But this is my best picture. But it's not even a picture of you. It's just a photo of the stop sign wearing like, a top hat. I like the idea that these are the two voices of the little guys on your shoulder <laughs> going back and there's no actual boys in the bathroom with you. The, your little shoulder <laughs> men are like... My little friggin' yeah. Nergal yeah. technical guys. Yeah. yeah. Or like they're doing the voices. Like there's a conversation you see, but they're not actually like... Oh, like I'm just looking at them in the mirror. Like your, your little guys are making the voices <laughs> for them and like making up what they're saying. Can you um, see them from afar? It's artistic. I don't know. Maybe if it was a picture of a fire hydrant. Well, it's not as if you... Oh, because he's a dog. Yeah. <laughs> it's not as if your pictures are in any way superior. What are you even doing in this one? Uh, smiling? <laughs> See, unacceptable. But I like smiling. Are you sure it's wrong? <laughs> I love his fucking face. <laughs> oh, he just looked he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> of course I am. Look, I'll even bring in an impartial third party. You! You're renowned for your Tinder success. What's your <laughs> That's secret? That's true, Jacob. That is the best compliment I have ever received in my entire life. <laughs> then you got it from a vampire. Um, I don't just smile with my face. I also draw a smiley face on my bare chest. Damn straight. I shock and amaze them with my custom Instagram, Instagram filter, sepia mustache enigma. Yeah. I'm gonna go chest. Yeah. Whoa, dude. That's like six times as many smiles. <laughs> Two. <laughs> it's two times as many. Bro, who has time for math at a time like this? I gotta go find a Sharpie. God, I just, oh, he's so... He's, he's so cute, so he's so he fun. He's yeah. Happy. He's just uh, a happy guy. This is gonna be like that time Everybody I passed out. Game, they're all such good characters. Yeah. Oh, damn. Like the time I passed out at a football party. Except with smiles instead of dicks. <laughs> that is technically correct. You wish you were as easy to please as Scott... You gain plus two creativity and plus one fun. Ooh, damn. My All turn. right. Where are you going now? Um, I want to go... Let's go... Uh, I'll go to the gym this time. That day an epic dodgeball match takes place. Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team spirit. Sounds like me. <laughs> <laughs> Leading to a spectacular comeback. Damn straight. You're clearly a natural born leader. You gain plus two charm. You're hanging out with Polly afterwards, and she's about to show you her latest dumb tattoo, and suddenly... How do you get a tattoo on a ghost? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm, never fear, my lady. I will save you from this lascivious cretin. I'll fuck this shit out of this man. <laughs> Uh, it's the interdimensional <laughs> prince, and he's apparently here to block your metaphorical cock. <laughs> Whoa, you're so sparkly. Are those tearaway pants? Sadly, they are not, my queen. My fashion sense does not operate on the same ethereal plane as your own. 
Well, I am persistently on fleek. I died on fleek, and so I'm cursed to roam the earth forever, eternally on fleek. It is this exact on fleekness which I on seekness. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, madam, I'm in need of a fashionista such as yourself to plan the ultimate wedding. Oh no, he's too charming. Oh, oh no, not the tears. Uh, ours? This could be bad. You know, Polly's not above getting married. It's a one-off <laughs> joke. You've got to stop this madness. Oh, uh, that this this exact uh, description right here has just made me very attracted to both of them. Yeah, me yeah, too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, throw a party that's so dope. Polly doesn't want to travel to another dimension. A party with sex strangers. <laughs> Marry the prince <laughs> Come on. right now. Really think about this. Both of these options are amazing. Uh, um, you did say you want to fuck the prince. Oh, you're right. But I like the sex lasers. <laughs> um, I gotta throw the party. You gotta throw the party? Yeah, I gotta throw the party. Alright, sex lasers it is. So fine. I steal the sex lasers from the school's highly controversial <laughs> and get the party started. Great Zorblins of Galaxia. I did not know you had such sick parties in this dimension. <laughs> yeah, boy, this school is naturally ranked in the field of parties. Part particle physics. <laughs> God damn, she's so cool. I don't know what kind of snooty soirees so you've got over there in Snoo's dimension. But here at Spooky High School, we have sex with the coherent <laughs> light. What? <laughs> <laughs> I am truly humbled by the heartiness of your party. I shall return to my dimension and lament the fact that it is a total party wasteland. You didn't even notice the prince leaving because you're too busy humping a laser. <laughs> you gain plus two boldness and plus one fun. All right. All right, Kylik. I wanna, I wanna go to the library. Yeah. All right. That day, you spend some time on the library's PCs, playing some good old online poker. Classic, Kyle. Right. Gambling seems like a stupid and dangerous decision, but who cares? This is, this time it paid off. So fuck it. Same. Ah, two money. <laughs> you got two dollars. Hell yeah. <laughs> you see Damien and Miranda with their heads in their hands. They look glum. You ask them what's up. Oh, we're boned. I do not know what this boned means, mm. but I'm not optimistic about our chances in the upcoming exam. It's not fair. I shouldn't have to fail the test just because I spent all week in a really brutal mosh pit okay. instead of going to class. And I did study. I had my servants read the entire textbook twice. God. <laughs> God. Uh, but for some reason, my servants are not allowed to take the test for me. Asshole. <laughs> well, there's only one thing left to do. Chop up the teacher and melt his body in acid. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's got to be another way. Doesn't there? All right. Easy, just lobby the government until they remove the class from the entire school system. Hmm. All right. And you don't need to murder your teacher over something like this. Just burn down the entire school. <laughs> oh, man. What are, what are you feeling, Kyle? Ah... Uh... See, I don't want to murder the teacher, so I think I'm just going to go with the lobbying. Lobby the government? Yeah, lobby the government. That seems like a long and tedious process. Ah, but... Well, if it's you know, Kyle, what, what Kyle wants to do, you yeah, know, I... Yeah. I'd rather not burn down the school. I kind of <laughs> like the school. I want to go to prom, you know? Oh, yeah. That does seem like that would yeah. be really difficult. <laughs> All right. You try to advise Miranda to use the lobbyists, but instead you say something that sounds like "haba haba moop swaggle." <laughs> what was that? What are you saying? Are you having a stroke? <laughs> Would it help if I need you in the face? <laughs> I love him. <laughs> He's so cool. Damien, stop! Uh, stop kneeing him in the face. Oh, so we actually did it. No, uh, it doesn't seem to be helping. I can't stop now. I just hit my rhythm. Uh, whatever's wrong with you, getting kneed in the face doesn't help. <laughs> oh, man. Damien gives up, but you already lost. Damien, I thought we had something special, man. Ah, uh, you know what? Something oh, happened to... Oh, Kane. no. Something happened to me. All right, Kane. 
You're hanging out with some of your absolute best buds. All these other characters I haven't talked to. <laughs> <laughs> or at least <laughs> people who seem to tolerate you for now. Oh, is it... Each one of these is voiced by one of us. Yeah. Finally, a good balance. Oh, nice. Miranda, Vera, Scott, Kylik, and Jacob. Oh my gosh. Suddenly, an interdimensional rift opens. Good God. This is better not be. <laughs> not my love. <laughs> For it is I, the interdimensional prince, here to save you. Oh, hi again, buddy. Not him. He's always so damn delusional. I certainly like to have my suitors to court me with great passion, of course, but ideally, I prefer it done without attempting to kidnap me, which I have a feeling he's about to do. Kidnap you? (laughs) (laughs) That was a laugh that straight up started as a joke, and led to a real one. (laughs) No, no, my sweet strawberry daiquiris. I'm here to save you. Nice. Save us from what, you lunatic? Why, your humdrum existence in this useless place of learning where no learning is done. From your repetitive adventures and mundane love-related tasks, I'm here to take you somewhere entirely new, full of unlimited choices. I like this, like, Tim Curry... (laughs) Soldier! (laughs) Uh, Rocky Horror. <laughs> Do your rescuing! Yeah. <laughs> Rocky the Interdimensional Rift pours an army of soldiers who surround oh. Miranda, Vera, and Scott. Oh, God. For their own protection. Looks like you're going to need to re rescue them from their unwanted rescue. Fighting this many soldiers could be tricky, but luckily you're an expert on the most powerful soldier fighting technique of all. The Dirty Double Dragon Dance. Oh, shit. Damn straight. Damn. Less luckily, your partner Pablo was killed after using the dance to save you from a three-headed cougar during Double Dragon 2. Pablo and Kane are back. Oh, no. (laughs) And you can't perform it alone. If you could, it wouldn't be called the Double Dragon Dance. That does make sense. Time to grab one of your other friends to perform this bold and daring dance with you, but which one will be up to the challenge? Uh... Jacob, you know, want to dance uh, in that moment, you realize a shocking truth. Pablo survived the cougar attack, but was badly disfigured. He went through many, many rounds of plastic surgery and is now known as Kylex. <laughs> Jacob is so incredible at the, dir- at the Dirty Double Dragon Dance that he won Monsters Have Monstrous Talent with it, and his partner also seemingly died in a freak cougar accident, so you're perfect for each other. Sorry, Kylex. I gotta yeah, go with you know, Jacob. That's Jacob. Jacob. Yeah. We gotta do this dance. I've been out of practice, you know? So bold. The soldiers glare menacingly. Many, me, uh, uh, <coughs> the soldiers glare menacingly <laughs> surrounding you, your other three friends more closely. You and Jacob link hands and begin the dirty double dragon dance. Dun, 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 you do the worm, you do throw axles, you twerk, and you twirl. Yeah, two hops this time. <laughs> Before too long, all the soldiers have been killed by dance. <laughs> How dare you defeat my soldiers with that incredible, incredible dance? I love that I have a rival, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Come to think of it, maybe I'll marry Kane or Jacob. Ooh. You're both very, very talented and attractive. I wish you luck in getting through this repetitive, repetitive, repetitive game of life. Oh, huzzah! Saved that last! That was a close one. Oh, he's gone already? I'll miss him. He's so strong, I bet he could have been great on sports team. (laughs) We're playing sports. Seriously, Scott? He's such a creep. But he was trying to rescue us! I know, buddy. Come on. Let's all go celebrate our freedom from freedom. Yes, thank you ever so much for saving us from being saved, Kane and Jacob. That dance was the awesomest. You'll have to teach it to me sometime. Then you hear some kind of voice coming from nowhere where the voices say, Double Dragon 3. Kate and Jacob <laughs> get double dates. In theaters mar- next March. <laughs> Whoa, that was like a movie trailer thing? Are we really characters in a movie? Does that mean I'm... <laughs> does that mean I'm the under... Uh, the way underpaid female lead? <laughs> 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 a narrator voiceover? <laughs> That's flaccid, sloppy writing. What's this? Charlie Kaufman movie? I'm out. Oh, and you both get plus three boldness. Let's trade places. Yeah, we're so fucking bold, Jacob. Alright, uh, wait, 
how if your country were the president. Wait, how shitty it would be for your country if you're the president. Oh, okay, that's why it didn't give us a thing. If we oh, were the president, oh, oh, oh. who would be the shittiest president of the three of us? Uh, uh, let's see. My first thought as president would be probably a. Oh no, I'd probably be a huge restructuring of like the entire police system. Right. Mm-hmm. That, that'd be my first See, that's order. Like, yeah. that's like a, that's like, Which is really nice, yeah. Thing. So you'd be a good president, Jacob. Damn my it. first thing is, Jordan Giacovello would definitely be on my cabinet, regardless of where he's at in life. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, whatever that means to you guys. No, that's a good uh, choice. I'd like him. Yeah, so that's 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 my one that's oh, my, one, my one decree, is that Jordan's going to be on my cabinet. So, if you feel... He can't even read. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jordan. I'm 19. I never learned how to fucking read. Uh, you know what? I I would just sit there clueless. I have no idea what I'd do. So. Well, you haven't gone first yet, so that's yeah, a good I enough reason as any. Great start. And then uh, Kane, you'll be second. I'm always in second because I'm second place. Kane. That's what they call me sometimes. Where are you going, Kyle? Oh, uh, you know, where have I not been? Uh. I haven't been to the bathroom, so I'm gonna go. I, I need to go to the bathroom, so let's do that. That day you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. Nice. On the way there, you run into. Mamimi? Ma- 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 the Oni girl. She offers you some of her weird Japanese energy drink. You take a sip, it tastes crazy as hell. You need to check the contents of this shit. Guarana. Guarana. Yeah, all right. Benzoic acid, 50 milligrams of caffeine, and 100 milligrams of boldness. Whoa. Well, it wasn't bad at all. You gained plus two boldness, thank Mamimi, and proceed to the bathroom. Ah, so oh. every one boldness unit is 50 milligrams. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that math. Sigh, woe is me. Sigh. Kyle, go save her from her room. Oh. Could Miranda possibly be doing this because she wants attention? <laughs> <laughs> Only one way to find out! God, this game just fucking, like, rips its characters of, like, a new one. <laughs> oh, hello. I didn't see you there That's as so I was good. standing here suffering gallant- <laughs> gallantly in silence. <laughs> she did, and she wasn't, but okay. I had the most tragic injustice befall me earlier this morn. <laughs> I was rejected from our school's water polo team. No! Not water polo. <laughs> they claimed I was mistaken about how polo con- is conducted underwater. Excuse me, but I was raised underwater. I don't know what water polo is. I don't either, uh, actually. I think the joke they're going for is that water polo is a game with like a ball and a net inside a pool, but polo is a game played on horseback. Right. So <laughs> she's probably talking about how like play water polo without a heavily armored seahorse as a mount. She's playing <laughs> polo underwater, and I'm sorry that I just uh, explained the, the joke. joke. Yeah. Well, for us uh, non-smarticles in here, it really helped. Yeah. Right. Those, you of, know you, that, those yeah. of you with a PhD out there, come tell me how stupid I am. I'm sorry, I've got Please. a PhD in stupid puns, Kane. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's per- a good PhD, I feel like. <laughs> I had to write a whole goddamn thesis. Do you know what's like? <laughs> 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 <I'm laughs> to, to be the, the preeminent person on the use of European puns between 1972 and 1974. <laughs> sorry, joke's gone on too long. <laughs> All right. Perhaps I offended them with, or when I implied they were too impro- impoverished uh, to afford c c c c All right. If so, why? I would love to make reparate. Yeah. Apparently, I can't read either. It's okay. <laughs> That's all right. It happens. It happens to us all the time. But it may be too soon for me to show my face. Would you be so kind as to take them uh, the gift of this omelet <laughs> to begin the healing? What the fuck? I am told that peasants consider eggs to be a delicacy. <laughs> um, obviously. <laughs> and that would make... Uh, and what would make the gesture even better is the personal touch of... Toppings, caviar, eel, chocolate-covered sand crabs. They'll never forget this was a present from Mer Princess. An elegant, stenciled card with your sincerest apologies, a list of all their fears, and a bundle of compromising photographs. What the fuck? Uh, I'm just gonna go from the toppings, I guess. Toppings! So creative! <laughs> Why, yes, of course. Chocolate covered sand crabs. The food of my people. Damn, you 
definitely didn't look that up on her Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing says fit for a mermaid princess like a breakfast of seafood. As we say in the kingdom, wake up and smell the slowly rotting whale carcass, and then come have a bite before we head off to the day's executions. I'm sure you have a similar saying here. <laughs> Thank you so much for your service, my hero, and Godspeed to you and your seafood-filled omelets. Oh, she's so cute. I love her. <laughs> oh, Kyle. You're jumping the gun a little. Oh, throwing those words out there. Okay. Sorry, I like her. Okay. Well, well, it's too late. You can't unring that bell. You can't undo the stakes, Kyle. You're in God love with this The woman. stakes have never been higher. Never been higher, never Kyle. Been high. All right, so got to win this girl's heart now. And... Make sure to take lots of pictures of them eating the eggs so we can all remember how generous I was. <laughs> sweet. I mean, less sweet that in that you now have to carry eggs filled with dead fish across campus to the Water Polos Club headquarters. But, did you see how happy Miranda looked? Happy as a clam who wasn't baked into an omelet. Ah, two charm and one creativity. Nice. Damn straight. Your turn, Kane. My turn. I want to go, uh, go outdoors this time. Outdoors? Yeah. Oh, well, you were at it. There we yeah, go. Yeah, sure. Woo! That day during recess, you start a half-hour rave that goes full crazy. Everything is fine until Juan, <laughs> the small, magical Latino cat, asks you what you think you're doing. Damn, you didn't remember you suck at dancing. But you decide to go all in and pretend it's a new dance move, apparently called the Groovy Musaka. Juan looks at you and he asks you to teach him the Groovy Musaka. Nice. In no time, half the party is following your steps and join the groovy musaka all together. It's a party to remember. You gain plus two fun Woo! and a cool story to tell your grandkids someday. Suddenly, you see Polly vomit ectoplasm all over <laughs> her cell phone. You rush to help her. <coughs> I just got my 97th hay as an opening line on Tinder. I just had to puke out of pure boredom. Hey! Hey! What am I supposed to do with hay? Whatever happened to reaching out to someone with a fierce dick pic? <laughs> People are just copy-pasting hay and sending it to every monster that looks halfway interesting. What about you? Are you a hay person too? I hope not. If you read the Tinder profile of a fun-loving spectral delight such as myself, what would you say to me? I'd send you a picture of myself with a smiling face on my chest. <laughs> <laughs> You're beautiful. Uh, are you drugs? <laughs> because I want to do you all night long. I think she'd like the drug one knowing... Knowing her. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, but I also like the fact that she's a j ghost, and so I think I gotta go bootyful. Booty? Why is it bootyful? And well, because it's, like booty booty it's bootyful as well as beautiful, as yeah. well as the ghost pun. Yeah, but I was like, there's. I feel like there was a booty joke in there. Oh, oh it's definitely a booty yeah. joke in there, and I gotta go booty joke. Not so charming. <laughs> you would say I'm bootyful? Is that funny to you? Yeah, because you're like a boot. <laughs> Don't go say... <laughs> I'm not joking about a ghost death. The very first time you make contact, you do know I died in a tragic booting accident, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> Shit. <Damn. laughs> and the worst part is, they weren't even on sale. Ooh. Oh. It was not as sexy death, and bringing it up does not make me want to have sex with you. Don't even think about hitting me up on Tinder with a weak line like that. It's worse than hey. Damn. The second I see the username with Kane in it, I'm hitting block. Shit. Ooh, fuck, man. I don't even care how many innocent Canes it may weed out. <laughs> wow. Damn. She is it's shutting not worth risking having someone trying to make puns off my traffic boot related to mine. You hit her fucking button, oh, man. Oh, shit, bro. <laughs> oh, man. In her defense, Bootyful is still kind of a pun about the fact that she's dead, but she's not even mad about the right pun. <laughs> yeah. You'll have to think about some way to make it up to her, preferably without indifferent footwear puns. You lose minus two smarts and minus one chance. Damn. Damn. Alright, Jacob, where are you going? Okay. Uh, auditorium, class. Library. We haven't seen the library yet. That day, you spend some time on the library's PCs managing your start kicker. <laughs> you deceive lots of people with a sensationalist video and impossible promises. Nice. nice. <laughs> <laughs> You gain oh. plus 100,000 money, but almost everything goes to cover costs and you keep only two money. Nice. <laughs> Someone taps you on the shoulder hesitantly. You turn around to see Liam. He's carrying a brand new notebook and a very Japanese pencil case. Oh, shit, that's right. You promised to teach him the secrets of Yaoi. <laughs> <laughs> he bows to you. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, hey, oh, go, 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 go,
I'm learning Japanese so as to make this more authentic. Oh, God. Oh, I'm ready for my yeah. first lesson. You know nothing about teaching Yaoi. You just kind of draw naked dudes snuggling and hope it turns people on. Oh, no. But Liam won't buy that. He thinks you're a Yaoi master. Oh, this game's so good, bro. You gotta teach him something. He's right here waiting. Okay, think, think, think. What was the first lesson of Yaoi? Yaoi's about tenderness. The first lesson, we will practice advanced cuddling. Draw me like one of your French girls. <laughs> 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 this is kind of funny, but yeah, this, I'd go with this one. Because, oh, That's you sit on for a long story. session of cuddling with Liam, but it's not going too well. Hey, you keep breathing really loud in my ear. Could you stop? Uh, you're you're kind of crushing my arm. Would you mind shifting a little to the left? It feels like you're kneeing me repeatedly at the base of my spine. That seems dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> After a few minutes of this, Liam disengages. Oh, I see. You're teaching me how not to cuddle. Damn straight. How brilliantly counterintuitive. Oh my gosh. Yes, I feel it. After only five minutes of this, I am completely, irrevocably unattracted to you. Which is a shame. I was sort of looking forward to the student-teacher romance narrative. <laughs> but oh well, learning comes first. Right. Learning comes first. And now you'll never come at all! Oh, that, you know, that makes sense. Me and Jacob always, you know, fucking shit up. Yeah. All right. Mm, uh, Kyle's we'll choose an animal work. in the next episode. Ooh. All right. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, Jacob. Hey, what? Hey, Jacob. Hey, what? Hey, what? Choose an animal. Falcon. Uh, I'm gonna go with crocodile. Uh, what's the question? Say Choose an animal. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna say tortoise. I like tortoises. Player order is decided on how hilarious it would be if Jacob died after being attacked by eight of the selected <laughs> animals. Well, okay, so Kyle wins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like little, Just like... like Look like they should be voiced by an old man, so be like, they're just regular sized tortoises, too. They're not like the giant crazy shit. No, they're the like little, like, fucking Russian tortoises. Yeah, yeah. Is big. And they're just, they're walking really slow to you, but you're just freaking the fuck out. <laughs> Alright, so what's, uh, what's funnier, falcon or crocodile? I think both of those are equally terrifying. Yeah, yeah. honestly. Um, I feel like. I mean, I'm gonna go with Kane being second, because I'm always second. Alright. <laughs> Works for me. Alright, week two. Noon. Oh, Alright, where are you gonna sit? Uh, uh, you know, I'm gonna go sit, uh, I'm going up, yeah, right there. Right here? Yeah. Alright, I'm trying to comprehend your request. What is there to comprehend? It's really simple, Miranda. Take my cell phone, snap a pic of me face planting in my food with my eyes closed, and tongue out. But wherefore? <laughs> right here, Miranda. <clears throat> you're, you're about to point out that wherefore means why, but luckily Polly elaborates on her own, so you don't have to look like a fucking know-it-all. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new meme, Miranda, like planking and dabbing. It's called food poisoning, <laughs> oh and it's God. dope AF. <laughs> don't you have cool trends in your kingdom? Hmm, I suppose we do. Oh, we have this, we have a fun trend called re Revere Your Rulers. It's where you show nothing but the utmost devotion for the royal family. If you're good at it, you get lots of likes on social media and also not executed. Do you ever listen to yourself when you speak? I bet you know some pretty cool trends, don't you, Kyla? Heck yeah you do, don't yeah. you? I surely do. It's, enti it's entitled Silverware wear and it's where you take your most expensive cutlery and dress it in very fancy tiny outfits yep it's called dying ah well i i think i'm gonna go with that one silverware that yeah that sounds like the most fun Ooh, you got her Ooh, really how have i not heard of this trend before beautiful silverware and fancy dresses are two of my biggest passions this trend sounds like it was invented for me um it may have been by you on the spot, but there's no need to go into that. What's your favorite meme? Oh, that 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 one with the old lady and the popsicle. Oh yeah, which one? Um, I thought this would lead to us shouting out our favorite memes. Oh, it's oh never oh, mind. Mine is the dog that sneezes. Ah, uh, oh, I love yeah. him. Uh, 
spiked salad forts and velvet evening gowns, <laughs> uh, seahorse steak knives and frilly skirts, teaspoons and tea dresses. Okay, that is adorable. Oh, you, this trend is no words. Yes, the glory of this spectacular combination would leave me speechless as well. Were I not so excited to create more memes with Kyle? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. We'll have to meet up soon. Bring, uh, bring all your most exquisite chopsticks. I shall bring doll clothes in which to dress them. Yeah, totally. Hang out with Miranda sounds amazing. Um, guess it's time to go out and try to find some exquisite chopsticks. Hey, right, Kane. Uh, let's go to the weird cat guy's table. Cat guy. I think, yeah, I think he's in the shop. Welcome to my little shop. Oh, I don't like that. Buy some shit. Okay. Oh. I have shit that'll boost your stats. Shit oh. that'll lead you into stupid new adventures. Even some shit that might be need much needed at some very specific moments. So, take a look. Do I have any money for anything? You have uh, seven. Uh, seven. What, what can I buy? Remember, when these used to be cool, now there aren't. They're so ridiculous, they're still funny in their own twisted way. A uh, sexy fake Latin accent. <laughs> a blanket with two holes. A, a Russian novel with insightful approach to universal matters such as love and death. A uh, PR agent. <laughs> um, a corpse. Penguin mask. Wait, wait, what, what does the penguin mask say? Uh, you want this, you sick pervert? I have no idea why you appreciated a good old reverse Romanian Wilkinson. I must admit, it's kind of hot you're into that kinky shit. Yeah, you can't afford it. You can't it. afford it, though. You're too poor. Oh, no. You can't afford this or the cocaine. Oh, no, but Whoa. I want the cocaine. You can get a fake badass tattoo. You can get a tampon used by the former uh, prom queen. That. Or a picture of Bob Ross. <laughs> um, I guess I'm going to buy that Or any picture. of these. Uh, well, should I buy... What's the, what's the dead body? Um, $5. It's like some kind of fashion accessory. It's not as if I'm trying to dispose of it. Yeah, I'll buy it. Buy it? Yeah. All right. No refunds. Okay. Right. Well, and I got to right. find out what this guy's about. You're about to take the first bite of your delicious cafeteria lunch when Coach appears out of nowhere. Stop! You can't eat that. <laughs> you haven't warmed up yet. Do you want to strain your jaw, spray your esophagus, pull out your intestines? I thought I taught you kids better than this. Come on, stand up. Let's get our food on. You look disappointed. Don't worry, little buddy. I'll help you choose the workout. We've got two options. Playing with your food, specifically playing football with your food, <laughs> a ridiculous, an absolutely ridiculous number of push-ups. Absolutely ridiculous number of push-ups. A monster after my own heart. Let's push up. You and Coach drop to the floor and embark on a kine on a kinesi I know how to say it, which is the, weird, the worst part of this. Kinesiological journey from which there is no return. Yeah, damn straight. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Within minutes, your mind is a push-up-filled void. Within the hour, you have left your body. What the fuck? You die. You what? meet God. He is impressed by how many push-ups you can do. You go back to your body so you can do more push-ups. You realize it is not your body you're pushing up, but the entire world. What the wow. fuck? It seems like centuries, but only 90 minutes have passed. Holy shit. Four boldness. And when you regain consciousness, enlarged so in spirit, hand, and bicep, you gain four boldness. Damn. Training places? Uh, something cool? Yeah. Um, oh, uh, platform shoes with a little fish in the heel. The interdimensional prince. <laughs> 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 Something cool. Ah oh, man. Uh. Uh. This game. Way to get real meta on us, guys. <laughs> How uh, awesome it would be if Japan built vending machines that sold the selected thing. Well, okay. Uh, uh, it's got to be Kane first. Yeah, I mean, I've got. If they sold the interdimensional <laughs> prints and fucking vending machines, damn straight. You go up and hit it like buttons. And he goes, Oh! Oh no! I'm falling. Oh, and it's like, and they're 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 like little pocket-sized versions of him, like like little 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 Japan pocket size. Like you gotta get another like the little. Mm -hmm. Hello. Uh, it's me, the You've interdimensional collect, prince. Collect him in different outfits. I've come inside your pocket. Yeah. You've got some spare keys in I here. Wanna, I want a pocket prince. Mm, I see you've got some old cough drops. 
You're not sick anymore. <laughs> Why do you keep these around, you silly, silly boy? <laughs> okay, okay. All right. And then, uh... That's was, gotta be me. Yeah, what was yours? Um, platform shoes with a little, uh... Yeah, that's better than, yeah, than no, this I, game over I, I, I over couldn't again. really... I can't really think of anything off the top of my head. Nah, it's cool you get meta. I'm about yeah, I'm down with that. Hmm. Uh, I want to go to the bathroom. That day you skip class and are just hanging out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. Getting high on electricity. But you don't stop there. You want the world to know how reckless you are for the rest of eternity. <laughs> so you do some graffiti on the wall. No oh. way. The graffiti says, I'm bold as fuck. And you know what? It turns out the wall is a magical wall that grants wishes. Oh, what? <laughs> what a wall. A deep voice resounds from within the wall. It says, well, not bold as fuck, but maybe a bit bold. And then you gain two boldness. Nice. Oh, boy. That's an opinionated wall. Anyway, lucky you. <laughs> While doing all that, you've been carrying your newly acquired corpse. <laughs> <laughs> that was a totally normal thing to do. But some people seem to think otherwise. Oh no, it's the four most hateful people in school. Why are you carrying the corpse, idiot? <clears throat> what a shameful display of distaste. <laughs> well, yeah, what a noob carrying around corpses is for noobs. Ooh, a corpse. I love corpses. Also, I'm super drunk. <laughs> okay, the three most hateful people in school and... <laughs> <laughs> As the school's social elite, we disapprove of this. I'm the head of the hierarchy, and I can't condone such stupidity under our domain. I am the taste of the hierarchy, and I don't appreciate such puerile use of a corpse. Also, lesser known fact about corpses is... They smell. I'm the fists of the hierarchy, <laughs> and I want to punch you because punching people is what I do. Yeah, you fucking need me in the face earlier. I'm Polly, and also, <laughs> like, I'm super drunk. So, whatever Fira says. <laughs> I'm Polly. Yikes. Despite your disregard for stupid social conventions and school hierarchies, you feel... Oh, your no! Your battery's running oh, low! No! no! no!